Hi everyone, welcome to my review, Danny Boyles, T2 Train Spotting from 2017. Um, so yes, here we are. Um, really looking forward to this review, and uh, here it is, Blu-ray Steelbook. Um, yes, yes, yes. T2, um, if you want to call it that, but that just kind of reminds me of Terminator 2. Um, yeah, or you can call it Train Spotting 2. But yes, um, of course, the much anticipated sequel um, to the first. Um, you know, the first one, of course. One of the, the um, kind of a really, really popular film, one of the most iconic, um, certainly, and uh, yes, spoilers alert here, um, you know, if you've not seen this film, uh, I recommend it, um, certainly if you're a fan of the first, um, you know, if you love that film, I don't think, it's hard to imagine someone hating this film or disliking it, I really think, personally, it's, uh, you know, certainly as far as um, modern sequels go, um, I think this is certainly worthy, um, you know, certainly a sequel uh, to the original. I don't think it's as good um, for the record, um, but yes, you know, and that's interesting thing here. I'm actually reviewing, I'm shooting this review um, before my review of the first. Um, I watched that, really watched it a week ago uh, from today, um, so very quick succession here, but personally, I just think it's just easier to kind of talk about this film um, first, um, but of course, I will upload the first one, um, you know, to YouTube um, before this, um, so that's just to kind of clear up any uh, confusion there, um, but yes, basically. I think it's, it's, it's good to talk about this one and then kind of go on to, you know, in my opinion, uh, just in my reviews, uh, you know, just in my opinion, the better film, uh, much better film, uh, Trainspotting, uh, 1996. But yes, um, you know, this film, uh, and it's really interesting, of course, the first Trainspotting I watched um, for the first time, uh, 2015, and it was really very, very close um, to the kind of uh, final kind of confirmation of, you know, Danny Boyle saying, the next film will be this, uh, uh, you know, a train spotting sequel. Um, you know, and I, I was absolutely blown away by the first. Um, you know, as I'll be talking about in that review. You know, that uh, that film is one of my very very favourite films. I, you know, I'm obsessed with that film. Uh, you know, I think it's just one of the finest pieces of art. You know, to ever um, grace the screens, and uh, you know, I think just in the history of cinema, that's one of the best, and certainly um, a real uh, inspirational piece of just filmmaking. You know. Very nearly his debut film, uh, Danny Boyle. Um, and wow, you know that film is just remarkable. It's uh, it's one of the finest. And uh, this film, um, of course, was announced, and it was very very shortly after I watched that for the first time, and I was blown away. And I, I was looking into, I was kind of looking into, uh, is there going to be, um, you know, a, a sequel coming? Because uh, I think it's kind of really interesting to kind of see, uh, you know, a sequel to this to this film. And uh, yes. Right around the corner, uh, a month or so after, I believe, um, I watched that film, we hear the news um, that Danny Boyle's next film is going to be this. Um, so I was hyped, and um, I rewatched. Well, since uh, you know, um, watching that the train spot in uh, the first one, uh, I've since rewatched it four times, um, and that was you know just a few years ago. So you can see how much I love it, of course. And uh, you know, I think I rewatched it again, particularly in 2017, uh, and then I watched this, and uh, you know, quite quite close together and um, yes I thought you know wow this is actually a great great film uh, this one uh, I think actually on a rewatch uh, this is my only rewatch of this film uh, you know today um, I think actually I love it even more um, I, I can right, rightfully say um, this is a great great sequel in my opinion uh, I think it just um, you know and it's completely different um, you know it's uh, there's so much to talk about here and uh, you know it's, it's something that you know this is not uh, it doesn't feel as much like an indie film. Uh, it doesn't feel as experimental, um, you know. And it doesn't feel as energetic as um, you know. Just it's not as mind blowing to me, really, in any in regard. But you know, it's not as it's a completely different film. This is a much more sombre, um, you know, kind of just uh, not normal, but uh, well, maybe uh, just a linear normal, uh, you know, drama film. It's not as kind of um, you know as intense or as raw or as yeah, gritty or as uh, just energetic and uh, you know as much of a comedy as the first one uh, kind of black comedy there but you know it's something that um, you know certain character um, you know arcs in the film and just the overall yes the main characters we focus on here um, you know I think what it does and what Danny Boyle was doing here is just really something to praise I think he just made a great film here a great follow-up um, to the first really honouring, um, I feel, um, the original, um, you know, just in, in its characters, I feel, and uh, just the the emotion, that's something that certainly follows through. Um, it really, really tributes the first uh, wonderfully, I feel, and, uh, you know, there's certain things that, just a few flaws I have with this one, I think it, it's not, 
it's not got too many flaws. There's certainly no major flaws whatsoever, in my opinion. Um, it just doesn't compare, personally, for me to the first. And I think maybe a lot of people would say that, but not discounting this work. Uh, it really is a stunning film. And uh, yes, I think, you know, Danny Boyle is, is uh, one of the finest uh, you know, filmmakers of all time, uh, I think. You know, so many great, great films. Um, I've only seen six, um, but they're all, you know, pretty much great films. Um, and The Beach as well, you know, that's the one I, I must say now. Um, you know, that's a film that I've seen it a few times, you know, when I was a kid. And I haven't seen it for many, many years. Um, but, you know, it's, it's interesting to find that that's a hated film uh, pretty much uh, across the board. Um, I think, you know, I must admit, I loved it. I actually loved that film. Um, you know, I can't wait to re-watch it. Um, that was really interesting. And... Uh, yeah, so as I say, I love that film, um, but you know, the other film, Slumdog Millionaire, um, 28 Days Later, um, these works, these are really stunning works, um, and I think, you know, Danny Boyle is just, um, just an absolute legend, and, you know, a great guy, you know, really, uh, I love, you know, watching interviews and stuff, and I think what he's doing here, he really, um, you know, honours the, the original, um, you know, and his characters, and I think, you know, luckily he got to direct this, you know, if someone else had just come in and kind of, um, you know, kind of done, you know, done stuff. Kind of like what happened with 28 Weeks Later and 28 Days Later. I didn't uh, like 28 Weeks anywhere near as much, you know, it's a really disappointing film. Um, you know, I love the first, and it was a shame that he didn't direct, you know, a sequel to that. But luckily for this film, you know, no one else touched it, you know, in that sense. Um, you know, because this really, it honors the original, it kind of, uh, you know, develops these characters um, further as well in different places. And just, um, you know, such an applaud um, to just making a different film, even though it kind of, it does feel like the same kind of um, universe in many regards, and same, uh, you know, these characters, and just the emotion and, and the way that, you know, you can kind of see, yeah, it kind of makes sense uh, where these characters ended up, and uh, of course, loosely based on, uh, you know, porno, which is, of course, the you know, the book, um, basically a sequel uh, by Irvine Welsh, um, and of course, he does make uh, an appearance once again, uh, Mikey Forrester, um, you know, he's little kind of appearance, he did appear in the first as well obviously, and uh, yes, you know, it's a, it's a film that, it's loosely based on that, but it is kind of its own sort of thing here, it's 20 years after the first, um, as we know, and uh, yes, basically seeing where these characters ended up, um, of course, you know, um, certain characters of course um, are not in this, are in the first for obvious reasons, uh, but yes, the main characters, Sick Boy, um, aka Simon, uh, you know, you've got Mark Renton, um, you've got Spud and you've got Begbie, um, the main characters here. Um, Kenny McDonald makes an appearance um, as Diane, um, but it's very, very, um, I, I think it's about a minute long, really, that scene. And, uh, you know, I, maybe um, I didn't really see the point in that. Um, you know, it's maybe not necessarily a flaw, really, just something that, um, you know, it maybe didn't have to be in there, I guess. Um, but it's just my opinion. Yes, um, but these main characters, um, you know, still here, and, uh, you know, it's something that. You know, what it's doing here is really, really actually um, very touching. Um, you know, it's very, very sad at times and very, very emotional, actually. Um, you know, certainly in the second half uh, and the middle of the film in particular, actually. Um, really, it does some really wonderful things, I feel. And, uh, you know, it's also just, um, you know, such an enjoyable film for me to see. And, uh, you know, I think it's definitely entertaining throughout. Um, you know, it's got comedy in there. Um, not as much as the first, you know, it's not as kind of laugh out loud or anything um, as the first, but... You know, it's not as um, kind of just wow, you know, wowing as the first in just its script and, and, and these kinds of things. But, you know, certainly um, it is funny, um, absolutely hilarious at times. And, uh, you know, it's something that I think this is darker than the first. Um, no, it's not as, it's not got a single scene as disturbing as, you know, it's just, wow, that is disgusting and kind of truly haunting as, you know, the obvious scene. I, I'm not going to, um, you know, specifically say about that, but... The obvious scene in, in in the first one um, or sequence kind of thing there and uh, you know something that but as an overall film i feel it's it's darker it's more kind of um overall more disturbing maybe um you know you could argue and i think it's just more of a, a kind of um a full-on drama um than a you know drama comedy um you know i think it just you know it's it's obviously a bit longer as well um and it kind of adds there's a lot of ex exposition in this film, uh, a lot of kind of, um, you know, character building here and uh, stuff that, you know, it's really felt the kind of way um, these characters have come, um, maybe not so far um, over this 20 years. And it's kind of just, it's very sad to see, you know, how, how some of the characters kind of ended up. And, uh, you know, of course, 
just I think uh, what these uh, actors are doing, you know, in this uh, specifically, um, you know, I think Robert Carlyle, um, you know, he is great in this film. I think uh, Ewan Bremner as well. Um, wow, just so good. And of course, uh, Ewan McGregor and um, you know, Johnny Lee Miller, um, just so good in this film. You know, not a single bad performance in this one. And uh, there's also a character, Veronica, um, who I really loved in the film, actually. Um, you know, really great addition. And uh, it's kind of a really interesting how it ends up as well. As we know, you know, she doesn't, you know, kind of um, stay with Mark um, or anything. Uh, she returns uh, to her kid, which is really, really interesting how it ends, you know, this film. And it kind of, of course, just so satisfying to see, um, you know, uh, Renton and um, Sick Boy ending up together again, you know, kind of in, in their friendship uh, kind of thing, and, you know, kind of hanging out and stuff. This is really great to see. And also him returning home, um, of course, uh, Mark Renton. Um, and you know that final, you know I was really just uh, especially this time round, you know I really loved that ending uh, scene, uh, of course, and yeah that's really just such a great ending the way it is visually, um, you know but just what a callback, um, you know just what a way to kind of uh, you know, really really just uh, end it on a kind of a satisfying note, um, despite you know it's, it's been quite a sad film, a very melancholic film, um, you know it's really it's actually very very moving for me uh, to see this film at times. Especially, you know, in the middle of the film, uh, specifically uh, what they're doing with, um, you know, for example, what they do with uh, Tommy, uh, of course, and showing him, you know, just walking, you know, that's such a really sad scene there, a wonderful, wonderful moment, and uh, how they're kind of tributing him, um, this is what I love about the film, it's not forgetting, uh, even kind of, um, you know, Tommy was not, you know, kind of one of the main four um, in, the, in the original film, but he was such a great character and a very pivotal part of the film you know and his death and stuff as we know and I think it's just great that that was kind of honoured as well and uh, just a wonderfully done there very very spiritual moment um, I feel and uh, yes just these these performances you know are stand out and I think um, just to see these characters again you know the interactions um, you know I love I love stories um, you know or sequels and stuff but it can be just in one film um, for example uh, Once Upon a Time in America um, you know where you see over a period of time, um, you know, different uh, things happen and just, you know, returning, uh, returning of characters, reuniting um, and people returning to past, uh, you know, locations um, and interactions with characters who maybe they haven't seen for, for many, many years. And I think this, this you know, this film here uh, captures that wonderfully. I, I feel that, you know, it's just um, really true to this whole kind of story. I think it's just, it's not out of place at all, different moments in, in this and it just feels feels right, you know, it makes sense, um, you know, to see, you know, what happens in this film, um, and I think it's just kind of, uh, it's hilarious, of course, at first, for example, with Spud, uh, you know, what happens with him, you see different things there, um, but it's, you know, it's really, really um, quite, quite tragic as well, you know, what's happened and stuff, and how, um, you know, of course, as well, we have Begbie, and, uh, you know, his, his story, of course, is that he's been in tw uh, prison for 20 years, and, uh, you know, from this armed robbery, of course, um, you know, 20, uh, 20 years ago and of course he was meant to be serving a 25 year uh, sentence um, but of course he does as we know break out you know and, and stuff and, and basically through his his plan that kind of um, goes wrong at times which is very funny um, as well but really brutal um, you know at the same time and quite um, disturbing um, but yes basically he gets out and uh, of course you know he tries to get revenge um, you know specifically Mark uh, Renton um, you know of course he basically that's his main stuff, you know, his main his main arc um, throughout the rest of the film. But of course, as well, what I love about this is, is you know, uh, with Begbie, he's given a lot of screen time and, you know, he actually explores his home life, um, you know, his son, you know, what he's doing, um, what Danny Boyle's doing here, you know, and how he's showing this. And just in the way it's done, I feel it, it's truly human. Um, you know, his son, of course, um, you know, just showing how, you know, Begbie wants his son to, you know, kind of come along with him. Um, of course, his son wants to kind of... Um, He's enrolled at college and um, basically doesn't want that kind of life um, for himself. And it's, it's something where um, this kind of, um, this conflict, um, you know, is actually very, very moving and uh, very, you know, very, um, you know, it really says something actually. And uh, just the way that Begbie, um, you know, as we know, by the end of the film, he has accepted this and he's kind of just um, let his son go in that sense. And, uh, you know, kind of says, of course, that line where he's basically saying that his son will be a better man uh, than him and uh, his father as well and uh, it's just a really really wonderful story this um specifically what they're doing with uh you know begbie and uh, robert carlyle of course um just uh 
wow, you know, he is, and he's a great, great actor. Um, you know, he's really, really great, and um, I just feel, you know, that he really, really gives a great performance here. Um, possibly the best performance in the film, actually, and uh, you know, he's a character in the first train spot, and I really do feel, uh, you know, that he's one of the just uh, one of the most iconic and uh, you know entertaining characters in cinema and he's not you know kind of um, maybe in the film uh, as much as you know kind of some of the other characters you could say um, but he really probably is the most memorable in, in terms of just iconic um, and I, I love how you know in this film he actually gets more of the kind of um, emotional kind of um, you know story here you know because in the first he's more of kind of you know it's obviously he's kind of you know in many regards you could say he's a villain in the first um, uh, just kind of you know, there's certain things, of course, that he's he's um, you know not shown in particular ways as much as the other characters. Um, but that what they're doing in this film, you know, is kind of um, maybe uh, you know kind of a different interpretation of kind of uh, showing this this other side to him, and uh, you know also giving him a lot of screen time, um, you know, just as much or more, you know, at times to other characters. And I think what they're doing with the son and stuff, it's just it's really really great it really is and uh, just very very tragic at times um you know but it's it's something that just makes sense as i say and i think you know just you know this film um i think uh, it really is directed wonderfully at times um there's moments in this film which you know are just wonderfully shot um the editing is uh, you know there's a flow to this film uh, so wonderfully this flows and uh, again it's very very different um i love you know i think actually it's very commendable how um Danny Boyle has, uh, you know, completely changed his, his kind of, uh, you know, his, his way of uh, directing, you know, with this film um, in terms of it's very, very different in its flow and its, in its energy, of course, in its style, you know, this is not uh, anything like the first in its visuals um, at all, you know, this is uh, something that, you know, it's not as gritty, it's also not as kind of, well, cinematic um, in that sense, it's more kind of, um, yeah, it's very, very different, um, you know, I think, the framing here is stunning, um, you know, there's a couple of moments where, yeah, some of the freeze frames, you know, making it perfected um, in this film, the editing is slightly, you know, I think um, a couple of flaws which I usually have with films is, you know, the kind of social media stuff in the film in the way that selfies and stuff are taken, um, you know, I could have, I could have done without that, um, but what I do love, um, actually, which is even, you know, it's, it's something that I actually can't believe I'm actually saying is I, I love how they're kind of uh, what Danny Boyle's doing with the kind of um, the, the, the way he's um, his take on social media and it's just saying you know just revealing you know how you know the flaws and stuff of this and uh, really great great commentary on this and uh, it's just kind of you know this film is is, is the one that kind of um, doesn't kind of um, really offer anything um, you know different in its in its themes you know for example consumerism um, you know it's external themes um, not related to these characters in particular um, but these themes of you know, within the media and stuff, um, you know, music perhaps, um, it's just kind of a continuation, um, you know, nothing as stand out as the first, I feel, um, but it's something that, you know, it's kind of what it's doing there, it's adapting it, um, you know, kind of, uh, it's going for, uh, you know, views on social media and, uh, you know, of course as well, you know, uh, many different things here, um, but just, you know, I think it's it's not, it's not much, um, much more than a kind of continuation, but I think it's really, commendable actually and I kind of uh, really responded to the way um, you know Danny Boyle kind of viewed this uh, you know through through these characters um, their responses to certain things uh, the narration um, once again is really really great um, you know it's not I don't think it's it's kind of um, the wow 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 you know kind of uh, narration from the first but again you know I don't think it has to really be compared in that way um, because it is a very very different film and I think if it had if it had the narration, um, for example, this ener energetic uh, kind of comedic narration, um, you know, that the first one had, and, and you know, as much um, as that, I think it wouldn't have been as as consistent because this the tone of this one um, and just the overall the narrative and um, you know just the way this film um, kind of is approached. I don't think it is that, you know. So I don't think the kind of um, narration had to be like the first. Uh, I think what is in the film and its narration is great and it's just really adding a lot you know kind of um for comedy and uh, just for these just for the development really um of this this story and i think it's just you know there's just some slight flaws um you know here and there i think um with just some odd maybe out, out of place moments a little bit um you know just in a couple of uh, a couple of shots here and there um, and i think what this film you know it doesn't have too many flaws at all um you know i think the music is a bit flawed as well but 
other than that, you know, I don't think, um, as I say, it's got any big flaws at all. Um, it's just, it doesn't quite go to the kind of um, perhaps masterpiece level, um, you know, throughout. I think maybe some masterful moments. Um, I mustn't, I mustn't kind of uh, ignore that. Um, but you know, I think um, it's not kind of flat out masterpiece. Um, you know, in its in any act really. Um, I, I wouldn't say, um, but it's always a great film. Um, you know, that's the thing. It's something that's truly solid. Um, you know, and it kind of just. Uh, all round kind of um, you know real greatness here I feel and uh, just in its soul um, you know kind of um, in its in its kind of way it's kind of developing these characters and uh, you know kind of looking back you know this is a really nostalgic film I love what Danny Boyle has done um, with these callbacks to, to music actually in the film um, you know that's when the film musically is at its best um, when it's calling back um, of course to the original um, there is some new kind of tracks in there and stuff um, kind of more, more modern music, uh, I think. Uh, I know what he was kind of going for there. I didn't kind of fully respond to that. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, if you know me, I don't really like, uh, I'm not a big fan of, you know, this sort of music, um, some of the tracks here, but yes, I think um, there's also a couple of uh, other tracks that they put in here. Um, you know, another Blondie track, which I was very, very pleased with, um, Dreaming. Um, and yes, of course, because Atomic is in the first and, uh, you know, just I love, course the use of that and I think it's great you know the use of uh, another Blondie song here and uh, I think just some certain uh, you know for example um, you know very very beginning of the film uh, you've got that kind of instrumental kind of piece of Perfect Day um, that really is it's just stunning uh, to behold and uh, I think just uh, very very emotional there and you see of course these these characters as kids and uh, you know this is the thing that I really love about the film it's kind of really really nostalgic this and kind of adding this um, this kind of um, thing, you know, this kind of, yes, this way to the film in which it's kind of um, a real uh, emotional, uh, kind of nostalgic, looking back at these these lives and their, their relationships and how it kind of places value on their relationships, their friendship, and uh, just uh, bringing that full circle, I feel, um, with, you know, the eventual kind of, um, you know, reuniting of, of Sick Boy and Renton, you know, the very, very end uh, of the film and how they kind of, you know, they become friends again, they kind of, um, reform this uh, friendship uh, if you will and I think that's just great it's, it's satisfying and it really uh, is very 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 touching I feel um, very emotional this film uh, for me to see and I just think in every regard you know these characters the way they're treated uh, the performances do them justice I think really really great performances uh, not a single flaw here um, and I think just what Danny Boy was doing in, in a direction and how how everyone involved you know um, or just telling the story, I think it really is uh, something else and uh, a great, great film. And yes, yeah, just a thoroughly entertaining film uh, from start to finish uh, for me. You know, this is a a real treat actually uh, and a kind of a very refreshing film, you know, in the sense that I've been so disappointed, I must say, you know, with many, many, uh, you know, of my favourite franchises uh, getting destroyed, in my opinion, and just getting, you know, disappointment after disappointment, um, just personally for me, and I think every right. I have, you know, to kind of feel that way, um, but, you know, this is a film that kind of stands out as, um, you know, of this decade, I mean, kind of uh, thing, particularly, um, you know, stands out as a kind of, um, you know, very, very pleasing, uh, you know, kind of sequel. Um, it's the one that, you know, really is just uh, fully commendable, uh, and it really, it was a real treat to see this. Um, I didn't know what to expect, um, you know, after seeing the first, and of course, yeah, first watching this film, uh, you know, T2 Trains was in, in 2017, and, um, you know, just loving the first so much, and I thought, you know, I was quite nervous uh, what would happen, uh, but Danny Boyle, you know, one of my favourite directors, so I did have faith, of course, um, but yeah, you know, I think you could say, certainly after this rewatch, it's exceeded my expectations, um, it's nowhere near for me as good as the first, but, you know, that's not that's not um, something that I expected ever, and uh, it doesn't need to be, it's a completely different film, and, uh, you know, it's not kind of um, an immediate kind of sequel um, in the sense that many many films are um, in that sense um, you know it's 20 years on and uh, it's you know it's kind of dealing with um, so many different themes here uh, loss uh, regret um, you know it's kind of of course this revenge you could say um, you know that really drives the film um, you know in this tension in particular um, particularly uh, with Begbie and how he's trying to uh, of course uh, specifically target Renton and uh, of course after what happened as we know in, in the first and um, you know that final uh, sequence there with that deal and stuff and how the, with the money of course um, you know I think even though um, you know Mark Renton 
it's, it's been 20 years, um, you know, and they were, were all friends, uh, which you learn a bit more about in this film. Um, you know, Begbie is still, you know, hell-bent uh, throughout most of the film um, in literally, you know, killing this character. And uh, the final act is very, you know, the first time I watched it, I was kind of just, you know, laughing and stuff and kind of, um, you know, kind of shocked, of course, as well, at the violence and stuff and where it's going. But this time, I really think, actually, it's... Uh, it's, it's you know, I, I look at the film a little bit differently, um, in a more emotional way, actually, and I think, actually, um, it's more of a tragic, um, you know, set of occurrences, because you see, um, you know, how these characters were friends from a young age, and, uh, you know, it really is, it's very moving, uh, and very, you know, throughout, and, and the way it honours that, and, you know, to see these, uh, these characters fighting like this, um, you know, almost to the death, um, you know, kind of thing, and Mark Renton, of course, as we know, almost dies, um, you know, in a particular moment, uh, Begbie is just, you know, just uh, completely uh, hell bent on a kind of um, killing this character at times. Um, it's really, really sad to see. A very tragic, tragic film at times. Um, but then uh, it comes the kind of redemption, if you will. And uh, you know, kind of, I love how the film is, is kind of saying, um, you know, in this particular story, how things have changed for these characters, but kind of, uh, it's still kind of uh, the same in many regards. Uh, for example. You know, Begbie, um, you know, is kind of after this character and, uh, you know, there is redemption for him. There is kind of him moving on, of course, with his son, perhaps, and just kind of realising things. Uh, but then he's still, you know, this aggression, this violence, uh, you know, in the last kind of scene there, where he's back, basically back in prison, um, you know, and of course, return to the police. And, uh, you know, there's just this, you know, rage that he has, you know, that's still there, but there's something as well that, you know, over the course of the film, uh, there is this kind of um, things these things that, that happen and, uh, you know, it's kind of redemption act and, uh, you know, kind of things where he is kind of correct in certain things, you know, I think in that sense, it's a thoroughly human film uh, in every regard and specifically this storyline um, is just so great to see. I think it's such a, a great, um, you know, a great film and I think the way um, in which all these characters are presented, um, every character has an entertaining and uh, compelling and, uh, you know, just emotional um, in, in some regards, um, you know, kind of arc, um, you know, I, I love how, you know, very, very moving how you see, uh, for example, Mark Renton return to his father, um, James Cosmo, of course, uh, playing his father and a great actor. And of course, we learn, um, you know, that the mother, of course, has passed away and, uh, you know, he's, of course, the father is a widower and uh, it's really, really sad. And actually, there's a Ooh, it's a really, really moving moment. Um, you know, you see basically the, the shadow. Um, you may not pick up on it, of course, but yes, basically when they're at the table there and they're both sitting there discussing the mother, of course. Um, you know, a shadow, shadow is there, and uh, it's quite a strange um, scene that actually in the way it's done. It's a, you know, full on shadow, um, but there's something. You know, it's not exactly subtle in that in that sense, um, but it's, it, it's it's something that's really, really moving actually, and just. I think the way that this is dealing with loss and how, you know, this has happened over this 20 years, but also the way, you know, that this is kind of uh, very, very different um, to the first and it's kind of offering many different things here and, uh, you know, it's following through, of course, and seeing what's happened, um, you know, since and uh, what we're doing now in this 20 year period, um, you know, this, this kind of um, how these characters are interacting, um, for example, but, you know, it's also doing something very, very different um, in many, many cases, and I think it's completely different in its um, in its tone, in its style, um, completely different direction here. Um, you know, just especially the editing. You know, I think uh, this is really, really different and uh, very. You know, it's nowhere near the kind of the energy, the raw um, kind of just. You know, it's it's not the first film. Um, I think it's probably one of the. You know, I have to say, probably one of the 50 best edited films of all time. And uh, I think that is just uh, something to behold. And this is very, very different. It's it's much more um, kind of somber, um, you know, and of course it is very different in structure, of course. Um, you know, and it's just, you know, the, the kind of the way the story is told. Um, you know, I just think that's very commendable um, in the sense that it's very satisfying in, in what it's kind of doing um, and kind of tributing the original and kind of, continuing the stories um, but it's also very very unique and it can't really be compared to the first and I think if it had been you know another one um, where it's kind of you know, maybe the same sort of uh, style and um, the level of energy perhaps and, uh, and stuff I think maybe that would have been um, more disappointing actually um, to kind of uh, compare it to the original because that is just so um, 
I guess maybe uh, Danny Boyle as well thought, you know, because the first is so, you know, so good, um, I think so. It's a film that maybe he couldn't top um, in, in that regard. I think maybe he did just try and go for something completely different in many regards and just, you know, stay true to the characters, um, stay kind of um, in this universe, but sort of something, create something uh, truly different, I feel. And that is, that sums this film up. It really is a, a wonderful film and uh, I think, Yes, I would love to see a third one. Of course, uh, you know you can count me in for that. You know, but I think this is a great way to kind of also end the film, uh, you know, the story here. You know, kind of this um, this kind of uh, universe. I feel, and it kind of it wraps it up so well. And yes, there's room for a sequel. Um, and I think Danny Boyle has the talent. You know, the, the kind of um, and the commitment, of course, and just um, the level of, of of kind of passion for this these characters, uh, this story. Um, but you know, I think um, I would love to see a sequel, um, but again, you know, it's something I'm not too kind of um, sad about because it just ends so well, and I think uh, this is a great, great film, and I'd have to give it a 95%. So overall, of course, um, you know, I absolutely love this film. Um, I think it really is a stunning piece of work, and uh, I think as far as sequels go, um, just in terms of, you know, uh, the last 10 years especially, um, I've just been so disappointed, uh, you know, personally, I must say, of a lot of films, um, you know, how they kind of, with certain franchises, obvious ones, um, you know, where the kind of state of it and where it's going, um, you know, just stuff that I I love so much, um, but, you know, it's just getting, you know, constantly um, kind of, well, you know, just offered in ways that I don't respond to, let's put it that way, um, but this is a film that stands among them, uh, you know, it's a real, um, I'm really pleased with this film, I think, uh, hats off to Danny Boyle and, uh, the cast, of course, um, everyone involved, you know, Ewan McGregor, um, you know, as always, you know, I really like him as an actor, he's a great actor, um, of course, and Hugh and Bremner, um, you know, very different performance here as well, um, quite emotional as well, um, with, with, with him and uh, Robert Carlyle, just great, um, he is a great, great actor, and once again, just, um, well, he's off the chain here, he really is, you know, fully, fully committed to this role, and, uh, you know, you could say he's more more disturbing in this, um, you know, than he was in the first, but I think, um, you know, maybe not, I don't know, that there's something else, to, uh, to kind of another story perhaps, another day, different video, maybe I could, I could actually make a video on that, but who knows, um, you know, just this character alone is, is something that, um, you know, I, I really think is one of the most memorable characters in a film, um, you know, I think, yes, just Johnny Lee Miller, um, of course, um, just, just amazing in this film, I think he's, uh, he's a character who, I think that moment in the first uh, first film, you know, that, that, that kind of realisation and that real tragic event, you know, in that first film, uh, Train Spotted, really changed him. And I think, um, you know, it's really, there's a real understanding, I feel, um, to these characters and how, you know, um, he is still kind of um, very, he's very, very different than what he was, you know, but basically in the first 40 minutes of Train Spotted, he, you know, he's, he's quite a different character to what he kind of is for the rest of that film. And, and the whole of this film, you know, he, he's more, bitter and uh, you know just not as kind of um, upbeat you could say and just this this is really really great to see it kind of just makes so much sense and how these characters you know general um, you know kind of treated in this film and I think it's just a great great film uh, there is some flaws of course that I've said um, mainly with the music some of the editing just here and there um, you know just just the way it doesn't quite go to this um, masterful level um, you know overall and just you know maybe um, even you know the first half or the second half, you know it's not not masterpiece level, um, not quite. Um, but this is, you know, this at times is quite close, um, and I feel it's uh, it's something that, you know, it doesn't blow me away. Um, you know, anywhere close to the first one. Um, but I think the great thing about this is it's very very different um, in its style and its tone and um, what Danny Boyle was going for here. You know, I think it really, really, um, you know, truly impressed me, and I'm so pleased with this film. Um, I think. You know, it's something that it's it's a different offering, of course, in many regards. But it is continuing the story. If you love the first film, um, I, you know, not seen this, I fully recommend it. Um, I think it really does some uh, wonderful stuff. Um, you know, with these with these characters, uh, with this universe, it's mainly focused on this more than um, you know, kind of other things like consumerism and stuff, um, other themes. Um, but it does it does appear, of course, in the film, and it, it does kind of yeah, kind of tie into the plot. But the main, you know. The main things in regard to the plot are relating to this, um, well, these four characters mainly, and, and the kind of the way they're interacting, and uh, this revenge, um, and you know these these themes of redemption, and uh, you know how 
how friendship is, you know, really portrayed in the film, that's the best thing about this, is the friendship, uh, the way it's kind of, you know, um, giving more backstory to these characters, and showing us, of course, you know, where these characters have ended up, um, you know, 20 years later, and it's a very nostalgic film, uh, very, very sad, very tragic, um, you know, very uh, kind of melancholic film, um, you know, it really, really is, but it is, uh, of course, as well, a comedy at times, um, especially the first half is uh, quite hilarious, um, I must say, and then, of course, you've got you know, just um, this wonderfully, um, you know, emotional kind of uh, arc with Robert Carlyle and what's going on with Begbie, you know, his character Begbie, and uh, just really great film. Um, you know, if you haven't seen the film, I really recommend the film. Um, it's just certainly, um, you know, another great film from Danny Boyle. Um, you know, he's such a great director, and um, yeah, Train Spotting 2 uh, or T2 Train Spotting um, is a great film, in my opinion. Um, here it is, of course. Once again, I recommend this, um, you know, to get on the Blu-ray. Um, great visuals um, at times. Yes, maybe maybe um, a little bit underwhelming in the daytime scenes, in the way it's shot. Um, but that's just in general, um, maybe at times what I feel with kind of uh, some modern films. Um, but, you know, what they're doing, I think, in the final act, actually, is actually more uh, interesting in the visuals in that department. And the lighting, that's the main thing I refer to um, with the visuals. Because the framing's great, um, but the lighting is particularly... Um, I feel stronger um, in general in the, night the nighttime scenes and uh, also specifically in the, the, the final act of the film and uh, just, yes, um, I really love this film. Um, I think, you know, it's certainly among my favourite films, you know, of the, of the decade. Um, not, you know, kind of um, really, really high on that list, but certainly on there, I think um, it's a really great film and uh, certainly it's not a disappointing sequel um, in comparison to so many sequels out there. I think it's just... Really, um, yes, just um, a really satisfying film, and I love, of course, yes, just how, how it ends with these these characters, especially uh, with Sick Boy and Renton. Um, just very, very pleasing and a warm, charming film, uh, you know, despite being very dark, a very violent film, uh, you know, it really is a, a warm, charming, uh, you know, just, just wonderful experience, really. Um, so, yes, uh, here's my review, of course. Um, Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Um, I never really talked to too much people about this film, um, or the first for that matter, and uh, it's just great, great to discuss cinema. And uh, you know, I, I think at times, yeah, I, I've kind of thought that maybe I've never really um, had much discussions about Danny Boyle at all, or you know, specifically Train Spotting um, and Train Spotting Two, um, of course, T Two. But yes, um, I look forward to that. Um, tell me your thoughts, of course, and uh, yes, as always, thanks for watching my review.